Alrighty, good morning, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. So today's video, pretty straightforward. We're gonna be fishing on the California Delta for two days. And for me personally, it's actually my practice for an upcoming tournament this weekend hosted by the ABA Ironman Kayak Series. It's a two-day tournament. So today is Thursday, official day of practice. Friday, tomorrow, second official day of practice. And then we have the tournament, the two-day tournament. So I'm excited to just go out there and go fishing. It's springtime, it's the California Delta. Should be great fishing in theory. I'm especially excited because the Delta has been off limits for the past 10 days. Haven't been able to touch the Delta for the last 10 days. So I am itching to get back out here. Like I said, practice, but more importantly, just go out there and have some fun and hopefully rip some lips. That is the video for today. We're gonna be fishing the Delta today, Thursday, tomorrow, Friday, and then the next series of videos will be the tournament this weekend. Let's get loaded up, get out on the water for a beautiful and hopefully epic day of fishing out on the California Delta. Stay tuned. I think since it's the Delta, our first cast has to be with a frog. Only seems fair. God, it feels nice to throw a frog again. <laughs> I'm not saying we're gonna get bit on it, but you never know on the Delta. I'm assuming a lot of these fish, or a decent amount, will be spawning, will be up shallow, so. That's totally fair frog game, you know? Finesse would come into play this time of year. Oh man. It's gonna be a fun four days, guys. Probably a little male up shallow. Weightless worm. Like I said, this is practice, but I mean, I'm out here to just fish too. Springtime in the Delta. If we find some giants on beds, I'm not gonna jack them, of course, but we're gonna go fishing today. I was debating rigging stuff up, you know, without hooks, stuff like that. Just getting bites and not setting into them, but it's like, nah, I wanna catch fish today. I also kind of feel for like Delta kayak tournaments not boat tournaments but like kayak tournaments it's really about just being good with your mechanics you know making accurate casts i mean obviously you can't go a ton of places in the delta from a kayak you know if you make those right casts and you fish hard enough and smart enough and concentrate all day you're bound to run across some good fish First cast with a drop shot. cast with a jig. <laughs> a little one. Kind of wondering now though. 
casting my drop shot, my weightless worm in areas they should be. And I haven't had a bite. That's like the third or fourth cast with a jig. I'm casting in areas where they should be spawning. That's kind of what we're targeting. And you just figure that finesse stuff will work, but I don't know. Maybe they're just being really picky. I think there is something to the jig. It's like we can't get bit on the worms, but the crawfish profile is helping. I think these are fish on beds, males. Hmm. Cause that one just kind of ate it. I didn't, he didn't move off with it or anything. He just ate it. I made that cast. All right, number two. Dang, that's a big one. Yep, no net. Yeah, that's a big one. I don't think I can boat flip that one. Whew. That's one of the right ones. Old cheater jig. Dang, that one definitely was on a bed, I want to say. one of the right ones. Thank you, sir. The old dance. Got the dance. I can almost guarantee that fish was on a bed right there. Now I'm, now I'm just curious, like, how did the drop shot not get bit? Is it the area or is it the bait? Usually if they're biting the jig, they're going to bite a drop shot. It's not typically the other way around, but those fish that I just caught, I mean, I kind of let the jig sit there. I think it uh, was on a bed and it just enticed the fish. I don't know. It's hard. Hard to say. We call it the cheater jig for a reason. So, I just put this bay drop shot in some really high percentage areas, in my opinion. Did not get a bite. So let's start throwing the jig in some high percentage areas. And if we do get a bite relatively quick, that just gives me more confidence that the jig's the deal instead of the worm right now. another giant do this on a jig but oh god that's a giant oh my god that might be an eight nine ten pounder oh god oh god oh god oh god i think i just lost it was e it was easy eight I think this could be the tournament spot, guys. I mean, there's big ones in here. That really hurts. I mean, I know it's not the tournament, but that was a giant fish. But it's uh, it's another big fish on the jig. So we might actually have to kind of get out of here now. Ooh, a little male. All right, another fish. 
jig kind of day. Dude, I hooked his mouth shut. Alrighty. Gotta keep in mind though, this is the delta and these fish change by the hour. So just because we're getting bit on the jig right now does not mean they're gonna bite the jig on Saturday and Sunday. I hope they do, but they might not. But yeah, all the bites, everything we've had so far, it's been making a cast and letting that bait sit. I really do think that it just lands on a bed and they eat it. Uh, this is a nice area because on tournament day, you can really slow down and pick it apart. I'm fishing pretty fast. I'm probably missing a ton of fish, but that's okay. That's what we want today. Find an area we can start at for tournament day. This time of year, more fish could be moving in. So I don't know. Things could set up pretty good. We'll see. See, I didn't even realize I had that fish because it's on the bed and they're just eating it. But I guarantee that was another little male on a bed. All right, let's get out of here. We won't beat this up crazy hard. We've had our fun here. Let's go explore some new water. There's a bed right there. A big one. Oh, two big ones. Oh man. You guys see those fish? So we're gonna mark all of our bed fish with a what symbol should we give it? Yeah, let's mark it with a dolphin. I don't know why, but sure, why not? That's a bed right there. Oh man, there's two big ones on a bed right there. Shoot. Like a three and a five. Man, bed fish over here. Dolphin symbol. You know, the thing we do have to be prepared for though is between now and the tournament and the tournament, the weekend itself, I mean, there could be a lot of these fish gone. There's going to be a lot of other people fishing. There's going to be a lot of tournaments going on. So bed fishing is probably not the best strategy, but it could be a little backup plan. First cast with a Senko. I guess they're preferring the Senko over the drop shot today. We've thrown the drop shot a lot more. Maybe they just want the slow fall of the wacky worm. Yeah, that's like a medium got bit. Actually, not a half bad one. Little fella. Chunk. Alrighty guys, day one of practice is in the books and I guess it went okay. Kind of slow to start in the morning. Got a quick bite on the old wacky Senko. Kind of told us the fish were where they were supposed to be, up shallow, spawning, pre-spawn, but I think a lot of them actually were spawning. Kept throwing finesse, chatterbait, even threw some top water, and nothing. Went a couple hours without a single bite. We did change over to the jig, the old Delta Cheater jig, and as soon as we changed over, I think two or three casts after that, we stuck a nice one. Didn't know if it was a coincidence or not. We mixed and mashed between the two baits, the finesse versus the jig, and the jig definitely seemed to be the deal. Now, the one thing that I think was crucial, the area we were fishing had a little bit dirtier water, and I think that jig with a beefier profile would land on these, what I'm assuming were beds, and the fish just couldn't handle it, and they'd eat it. That was good. The only negative part is we did unfortunately lose a tank a giant a mammoth whatever you want to call it i do not believe it would have been a pb i do not believe it was a 10 pounder but i think it was 
all of seven pounds, probably bigger. User error, man. Didn't have my net first of all, and second of all, I just had it at a goofy angle and she popped off. But on the bright side, there are big fish in that particular area, and I guess the jig is on the menu. We are gonna keep this video pretty simple. I'm gonna drive home because Delta is relatively close to me. We're gonna re-rig some stuff, charge some batteries, dial in a few more baits, and uh, I think we'll probably come right back here tomorrow morning for the final day of pre-fish. That's the plan. I will see you guys bright and early tomorrow morning for another day of fishing. Let's get her started. Didn't get a single chatterbait bite yesterday, which was surprising, but maybe it was uh, the area we were in. Let's try it here. See if we can pick up a few on a chatterbait. It's windy, I mean, it should, should get bit, but yeah, you guys saw it. Everything yesterday was jig and finesse. It ran on a bat, dude. The jig. Oh, it's another giant. Hello. Come here, dude. I can't see him. Come here. Oh yeah. There we go. All right. Well, I guess they still want the jig. I was just thinking maybe it was the area, but no. Nope. Our game plan's pretty much set in stone now. I'm digging it, and it's only 7:44. Dude, that's like a tank of a fish, man. Look how that one's built. Woo! Delta Giant. Let's uh, mark that one. On the jig, I guarantee you that fish was on a bed too because the line did not move. I did not feel the bite. I just uh, put it on its head and it bit. right there you know what i don't even need to catch that fish i'm gonna mark that fish that was a a bite thumped god maybe i should cut this hook off <laughs> you know yeah keep moving uh, oh there's a bite right there i'm pretty sure we had a bite right there he was swimming off with it i did not set the hook Hope it wasn't a 10 pounder. Or maybe I do, and then he bites tomorrow. Oh, there's a bite right there. Yep, let him go. That one felt little, though. It's just kind of like tugging at it. Eleven fifteen, guys can't believe it but we're off the water you know a lot windier today i did actually want to stay out longer and look for bedfish but the wind looks like it's not letting up and it's hard to see those fish when it's this windy so we're calling it a day calling it 
an official practice over with and I'm pretty happy with what we found. Now of course it is the Delta. Things can change very quickly and they may not be the same this weekend but I'm hoping they are and you know you saw it. Our pattern was targeting fish most likely on beds. I don't think these were fish cruising around or anything like this but I think there's a lot of really big fish on beds right now and we found some areas that had some stained water. Today we tried a new area that had some stained water. Didn't take long. First bite on the jig. I don't know like a five pounder so I do believe that fish was on a bed so that is really what we're targeting is bed fish throwing that jig making a lot of casts and hopefully just landing on the right ones you know it's a risky pattern but the delta is a cool place because it's about targets you have so many targets and you, you can make just so many casts in a day or in an area really five of those right bites could be giants so that is our game plan going into this tournament we found some productive areas we found some bed fish if it calms down we found uh, some finesse bait bites so we got a lot of options I, I like how this tournament is setting up especially a two-day tournament out here on the delta hopefully we can just fish clean not lose any giants make a run at this thing anyways i hope you guys enjoyed this uh, practice video for an upcoming tournament maybe give you some insight as to how i practice specifically for tournaments out on the delta but as always i thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next video for tournament Okay.